I come from the border between Texas and Mexico. So of course, the greatest country of influence with music in my life was Great Britain. In my house, my father wanted to be John Lennon. Everything was about the Beatles, and my dad couldn't stand Tejano. My rite of passage growing up was not to learn what my father affectionately referred to as troquero music. Truck, 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 That was his thing, troquero music. He didn't want anybody in the house getting into troquero music. So as we grew up, I somehow ended up with a like-minded group of kids who weren't into Selena y los Dinos, and they weren't listening to all of Vicente Fernandez and any of that stuff. We were all into British metal. We all wanted to be heavy metal rock stars from Great Britain. Next thing you know, you get started to become a teenager and you get interested in girls, and what do girls like to do? Girls like to dance. So because we went to school right there, right by Mexico, we'd cross the border. It was completely legal for a bunch of teenagers to walk into a little bar somewhere in a little neighborhood and listen to cumbia was the thing. It was all about cumbia, and if you could dance, then the girls loved you. And what are we doing? We're listening to cumbia. We're getting down to all that stuff. We're starting to soak in it. We seep in it. Now, cumbia is from Colombia. That's a thousand miles away from Laredo, from the border between Texas and Mexico, from Tamaulipas, from Nuevo León. And yet, somehow cumbia reached northern Mexico and just captured the imagination of everyone. As the years went by, <clears throat> we began to study this stuff and maybe kind of tried to experiment. And then you kind of get a little bit older and all of those old influences start to come back. Our version of it was like some, something somewhere between like Iggy Pop and the Stooges and Hector Lavoe and Willy Colon. But we were doing it and people loved it. Now as time has gone on, it's very much like what I see happening with Latinos in general. We've absorbed all of these different influences and metal is still there. It's just part of the spice of what we got going on. But now it's something more worldly, I think, that can belong to everyone. And if kids can understand cumbia, and they can understand mariachi, and they can understand club beats, and they can understand hip hop, then I think we can all get along.